Okay, so how I open this battery? It wasn't so easy because the battery is glued in in here. This and this, the battery is so glued from both sides. So what do you need to do is to put screwdriver here and then try to break it a bit. Then put here and use a bit force. And then if you break this hinge, you put screwdriver here and also try to break it. This should pop up here like that. And you repeat this on the other side. Then you should have pretty easy access. So you take the battery to this side. And you try to disassemble it. You need to be careful because here you will have cables. So you need to open this. You should be careful to not open it too much because you have cables there. You try to unscrew this screw. One is be behind this. And then you can disassemble this part. And here you have two other screws. One is here, one is here. Then the main board should go off. Okay, so I wanted to show you how to repair the Mavic Pro battery. So when you will disassemble the battery and you will take it off from the case, which will take probably so much time, you will probably need to break a lot. You will get to the main board. You need to have some balancer charger and you need to connect to these pins, like these big ones. Here there is a red one, and here there is a black one, which is like these two points. We will use these crocodile connectors and we will connect them there. After connecting the crocodiles, so they are touching the uh, pins in the back, so you don't need to take this isolation off. We are connecting it to the uh, balancer charger and we are starting the charger. <clears throat> In the charger we are using the program for this type of battery. And I'm using current which is 2.7 amps and it's working perfectly. Then you will start it. This current will try to wake up, wake up the battery after like let it go till here you'll see like 11.9 and then turn it off. Then we will use the programmer and we, we will reprogram the, the battery, the BMS in the battery. Okay, so because I was charging it a bit before, my process was a bit shorter than that. So it was like three and a half minutes. But for you, it will be like 10, maybe 15 with 2.7 amps. So now what we will do is we will turn off the balancer. We will disconnect the connectors. And then we, 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 we will use CP2112 programmer, which works on I2C protocol. And we will try to solder into these two pins. And I'll show you it in a second. Okay, so basically when we soldered our two pins, SDA, SCL, and the ground here and we are ready to connect it with our controller we'll connect it to gnd sda and scl i'll like attach uh, 
you, you should see on the screen right now the wiring. I just connected like um, battery to a charger. I'll start charging right now. The diode should start. But it will blink like this forever. And if we will actually look at the voltmeter, it shows it take 0 0.1. So basically it doesn't take any energy. So that means that we have a PF flag uh, into the BMS of the battery. And we will choose, we'll use this small device to actually delete this flag. I'll show you right now how to do it. Okay, so now we need to run the DJI Battery Killer program because I connected the mm, controller, uh, the programmer to the battery and to my computer through USB. Uh, very important, you need to run the battery so it will blink or do whatever, give some sign of workingness. So when we are in the DJ battery killer, we click connect and we choose this controller like BQ30Z55. This is the controller that is in Phantom 4, Mavic Pro 1, so in the older type of uh, drones. Then we click read info. It should show our information of the BMS. So we can, for example, see how many cycles cycles that does it have, and we see voltages on each cells. So we need to unseal it right now to be able to clear the PF flag. As we can see, the unseal is successful. And normally we would click this if it comes to any other type of battery, which it also supports like Mavic Pro Zoom, Mavic Air 1, 2 Mini, Mavic 1, plus also Spark. But in this case, we need to send it manually. This is very important. So, so let's write 0, 0, 2, 4, write word, reset chip. And then we write, we unseal again and click 0029, right word. And after writing 0024 and 0029, when we will start our charger, it will give us 54 watt watts. This means we clear the PF lock and the battery is ready to assembly. Now we just need to desolder these cables and put it to the uh, case. And that's all. Thank you for watching and I hope I could, and I hope I could help you. Thank you for watching. The details will be in the video description. Circuit and the application will be available from Google Drive.